Welcome back to Hot Rod High School, and in today's episode, we are going to be draining and refilling a cooling system. So Jace here is going to go through and remove the lower radiator hose. This is one way of going through and taking out all the coolant from the vehicle. Uh, there's also usually a petcock valve that you can find in the lower portion of the radiator that you can use to remove that coolant as well. So he's going to get that thing all drained out and also remove the extra drain that Holds our coolant up in that, that lovely bottle of barley pop we have sitting there attached to this system. The reason why that that is attached right there is because we have to simulate all the air pockets that can be found inside the engine. And I need a way of seeing, did the coolant actually go back into our vehicle? Uh, there's been thousands upon thousands of cars out there that have blown engines because they weren't properly refilled with coolant. And so we're gonna go through, drain everything out and show you one of the proper techniques for making sure the entire system is refilled. So now that the bottle is empty of all of its coolant, we can tighten the hose clamp back on there. And then we'll also tighten on that lower radiator hose. And this thing will be resealed and ready to be refilled. And if we've done the job correctly, we'll see the bottle fill up with coolant as well. One of the cool things about this is if we have a student who just goes through and pours coolant right into the top of the radiator, it doesn't matter how long or how much coolant you pour into the top of that radiator, that bottle will never refill unless you use this proper technique to get it to go back in. So we got the system resealed, and now we're going to use our cooling system filler to refill it. So Jace is gonna be setting up the dial and the air removal tool. And we're gonna hook this up to compressed air, has a small venturi inside it, and it's actually going to remove all the air from the system. And that's going to make it so we have a vacuum inside this system. And then we can refill it by sucking in new fresh coolant. Oh. There we go. So we'll get both the valves open on this thing. And this is going to, you watch as this happens and all of the hoses just collapse in on themselves as all the air is sucked out of the entire system. So here's one more view of this while we're watching the gauge and we can watch that the needle go up as all the air is being pulled out of the system. It goes up into the green. And as long as it stays steady there, we know we got a good seal and we're ready to refill with coolant. So now we're going to take and remove the air hose from it and we're gonna put in the refill hose. So that valve on the top has been shut off, put the refill hose, clip it into place, make sure it stays submerged in our bucket of coolant. He'll open up both of those valves and the vacuum that's inside the system will then just suck the coolant directly into the system. And if we've done this correctly, we'll actually watch as our delightful barley hop bottle refills from the bottom up. And if that happens, then we know that we've done a correct job and we managed to do a full coolant drain and refill. And there it goes. The coolant's filling up from the bottom of the bottle. And now we have a system that we know we can start this vehicle, we can run it, and we're not going to have a blown cylinder head because of an air pocket stuck somewhere behind the thermostat.